Yo, back out here again at them, y'all. As you can probably hear, got an airplane coming over right now, but the wind is banging out here. And uh, not only do I tell y'all what I'm doing out here, but I'm getting ready to show you. The wind is, is horrible, but I'm out here by myself. I'm on my little dinghy and uh, out here doing a little practicing, boat control practice. I already got three nice ones in the boat. Water's horrible, in horrible condition, as you can see. Super muddy, and you can see the wave is wavy. Uh, wind swirling pretty bad. Let's see if we can put some in the boat. Let's make it happen. I'm running a, uh, I'm on my dinghy, so I got the 106 on my dinghy with the uh, LVS 34 transducer. I get a decent reading. So I got my depth set at 15, looking 20 feet out. I'm pretty close to the bank right here, so I don't need my forward range out there really far. There's a gar, and as y'all know, I like looking at them old gar. Them crappie and gar been hanging together. I'm like a fish on that stump right there. And I'm running my control motor pretty hot, as y'all can hear. See if I can get a shot of that, and just like that, I think that's going to be a crappie right there, y'all. We're going to see. Drop down there and see if we can make it move. I think it is. See him moving? See him coming? Came out of there and got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See y'all a little bit of that old action right there. Come on in here there, boy. <laughs> I say it a lot. This old Lake Houston, man. Whew. It'll make you work. Just old nice winter crop. He's almost all white in this muddy water. But uh, <laughs> that's what you got to do here. Uh, there's a lot of people that I know that struggle with this lake that's fished it for years. And uh, yes, livestock shows you all this stuff but if you're not paying attention looking at every little limb every little stick up sitting on the bottom man you got to take into consideration anywhere that these fish could be but uh let's get on another one bam so we're over about nine to ten foot of water and uh this area that i'm fishing it seems like that's where they want to hang it so i'm just gonna ease along this bank and scan nine to ten foot of water pick these pecans up and all I'm doing you can see my speed right there about three quarter mile an hour and I'm just easing along and just scanning some suspended fish right there it may be a crappie might be a crappie yeah, I'm about to back up on him there's a few of them right there look like they're suspended I don't know if those are going to be crappie, but we're going to check them. We're going to check them. Now here's where that practice that I always tell you guys that you have to do to uh, get your jig and that cone comes into play because especially in windy conditions like this, you have split seconds to get that jig down there to that fish before the wind will blow you off or the fish will swim off. Wake up. I'm almost positive that that's a crappie. Whether he's going to want to eat or not is a different story. Nope, look at him shot down to the bottom. <laughs> Chuck a daughter down to the bottom. Another one right there. Although I don't like the reflection on the screen where you can see my ugly mug sitting there. If you pay attention to what I'm looking at, you see me constantly looking up to, to see the position that my troll motor is, is in so that I can adjust my rod to keep that jig in the cone. Another important fact, you guys, you just have to do it. Come on, 
bitch. Open your eyes up. There we go. Come on. Nope. You don't catch them all, y'all. I don't care if you can't see those fish. You do not catch them all. I think that's the one that I just had in the water column. Let's see if you want to play. play y'all now I will tell you in any other situation I wouldn't be in this area fishing for these fish but this is what I call practice and yes I even have to practice and do it regularly and uh, can't be scared to, to make yourself better here shortly I am going to get in some protected areas and you'll see the difference with the waves the boat slap and with me having to run my troll motor on, on a high position makes a big difference when you can find an area that's protected. Yeah, I don't think he's going to want to do it. <clears throat> Again, that reflection is giving you guys some information. If you'll pay attention right here, watch how I back, back my rod up. You can also see it on the screen. And this is what I was telling you about working your rod to assist your boat control. It makes a big difference on how long you can keep that jig on that fish. Another important thing is deciding which end is the head end and which end is the tail. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Yeah, I know the wind noise is really bad, but this is just to show you that I practice what I preach. I, I tell you guys that you, you have to put that work in, and here it is. I'm showing you I do the exact same thing. If this is your first time with me watching a video here on YouTube, I will advise that you watch my previous video, Live Scoping Fundamentals. A lot of the stuff that I am talking about right now, I did an extensive instructional with that video. Can't even get him to look up at it. Unbelievable. Alright, on to the next.
big old catfish right there. How many of you noticed the other crappie that was laying on top of that, that log right there? I'm getting ready to back up and I will show you where he's sitting at. Look at this little bitty joker. <laughs> I knew there was a crappie sitting there. He stayed there till that big old catfish passed him up. Little bitty dude. All right. Right there, he's kind of small too. See him on top of that log right there, y'all. Settle down, dinghy. Wake up. Hey, oh, <laughs> he nailed it. Settle back down. He ain't that big, but I still want to catch him. Just for practice. He got the right attitude. There you go, buddy. Little bitty dude. Another itty bitty guy. That one right there. It's not big either. Win, y'all. I'm gonna try that one sitting still over there. When I was chasing, he's on the go. This one sitting still. See if he got the right attitude. Climbing up to him. I'm gonna turn my troll motor a little bit, try to get him as bright as I can. Tried to react. Nope, not what he want. Came up and smelled it and took off. Probably need to put some scent on this thing. It can be kind of funny on this lake. 
Sometimes they'll just turn and nail it. Other times you gotta you gotta put some sand on it. Picked it. He picked it. She got a little pocket right here. A couple of feet difference in depth. We got some pretty strong cold fronts coming, so they, they should be gravitating to some deeper water. And, uh, Sometimes just a couple of feet difference can make the difference. I feel like I see one decent one there. It was turned into the wind. Yeah, he's swimming. So he don't want nothing to do with us. Something way up there in the water column. What is that? Is that a gar? Might be that three pounder just sitting up there. It's probably going to be a gar though, up there that shallow. He's glowing. Swimming a little bit now. <laughs> little old bitty white bass sitting up there. <laughs> I mean, he's way up there in the water column. Little bitty white bass. Little bitty dude. All right, y'all, what am I going to have to do to find some decent fish? Them probably white bass right there, too. Fast as they're moving. Barely picked it. There may be a decent fish down on that stick up though. See him down there on that bottom? Ten foot out. The little fish is getting ready to mess with my split shot. There we go. Ooh, ooh, wee. Look at here, y'all. Like I say, come on in here. It's going to be a good fish there, y'all. All right, I'm going to just set this one on the floor, and uh, I'm going to try to get that other one right there, too. Y'all hang with me. I'm going to try to pick up that other one. That's over there, sitting on the bottom. There's a couple of them over there. I'm going to try to get that one and then I'm going to show y'all both of them. Coming up on it. Camera shut off for some reason. Come on, let's make this happen. 
Come on. Ah! You sorry dog, you. Uh oh. It's a good fish too, y'all. <laughs> That's a good fish. Well, he's a bad fish because he didn't bite my bait, but eh, is he going to keep on going? Is he going to let me present my bait to him again? He going to eat that little fish right there, whatever it is. Oh, he took off. Thought he was going to eat it. Oh, I'm almost to you. Just hold what you got there, little buddy. I don't think he's going to do it, y'all. Trying to make it happen, y'all. We're going to catch this fish. I think he got a different idea, though. I'm all twisted up over here. That during on wind's coming from the back of me. Okay, I see where you're going. Going on right back over there. Tell a little stick up. Let me get my boat turned on you. There you go. I'm going to catch this fish, y'all. I'm going to try to catch him at least. Put that bait in his face and just leave it there. Come on, Win. Settle down, Win. He just so slightly picked it. He don't want to eat. He for sure don't want to eat. All right, I'm going to put it in his face and just leave it in his face. Uh-oh, come on, settle down, settle down. Settle down. The one I got on the floor back there trying to warn him, y'all. You better not heat it. He is smack dab on the bottom. Ran on the bottom like he a catfish. Still going, still going. There you go, just stop. Uh oh, he's getting buried in there, y'all. Can barely see him. Can ba I mean barely see him right there. Just gonna put it in his face and yeah, he's still swimming though. See if I can put it in his face and just leave it there. Yeah, he up under that. Come on. I gonna do it. Uh-oh. He didn't want no action on it. Let's try this other one right here. See if he'll go for it. There we go. Just what I want. Just turn and nail it. 
That's what I want. Yeah, I had to work for that second one. The, the one that I was targeting didn't want to bite. But this is that first one. That's a, that's a really nice fish. 12 and a half, 13 inches. That's a 12 inch fish right there. Oh yeah. Got to work on them, y'all. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, be sure to hit that thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Look like our next target right there. Look like our next target right there, y'all. So I know you can see how I'm keeping that bait just above him. Trying to keep him as bright as I can. That's why I'm moving. He's swimming a little bit. So I'm barely turning my troll motor. I'm trying to keep him lit up and I'm adjusting my rod. And he's not a big fish. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want it. I guess you don't. Alrighty. On to the next. One sitting right there by that little structure. Like he's getting ready to disappear into it. There we go. I mean, he just barely, barely took it in, y'all. <laughs> but he's a keeper. He's a keeper. And as you can see, just another nice, I mean, 12-inch fish. Nothing, eh, no, not in a tournament out here. Just getting a few fish for dinner today. Let's see what else we can find down there. If you didn't, didn't take a good look at that, piece of structure you never would have seen that joker I mean, he just laying on it see if there's a, some more on there there's maybe a few more on there y'all look like it right there at the top see right there almost to it come on come on Nope. That's a good fish. Just not going to do it. I'm taking a lot longer on this fish because I know he's a good one. And I would usually take. Another one over here right on the edge of it. See if we can try him. And this is the reason why I don't run my unit as hot as a lot of people. Because these fish on this lake, you don't have your unit dialed in to where you can see them in that brush. 
you're going to be stumped a lot. I mean a lot. Come on out of there. See him moving right there? Trying to make him mad. Nope, he didn't like it. I know y'all seen him move then. And that's what you got to look for on this lake. I mean, it's just, uh, these fish, they're, they're special out here. You know, they'll dive down on that bottom. And, uh, when they do hang on that structure, I mean, they sometimes can be so deep in it. That is crazy. This bait fish there. All right, y'all, on to the next. I got a nut and spot it, y'all. He, he right up against a little stick up right here. All by itself. Let's see if I can get a good angle at him. See him right there by that little stick up? Right there. I'm trying to get him to my target range, backing my boat up just a little bit. Oh, there's another one right there, too. I'm going to go for that one at the bottom when they're sitting there. He claiming that territory. Let me get us stopped. Barely see him down there. Come on out of there. Oh, <laughs> he just barely nipped it. Get out of my space. That's all they want. They're not trying to eat it. Now, I must tell you, if I'm on a guided trip, there's no way that I'm going to spend time messing with these inactive fish. But what I like to do when I'm out by myself is research. And what I'm doing is basically seeing what, it, what I have to do to entice these fish and uh, enjoying uh, spending time with my live scope and and also practice because you know when a fish is 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 not active when you have to keep that bait on him it's just practice it makes you better Joker. There we go. Just leave it in his face. I guess he say, oh, you ain't going to move. I'll, I'll show you how to move. He's just going to eat it. <laughs> All right. And there he is. Nice little 11 inch, 11 and a half maybe. Making it happen, y'all. In the live way. All right, we're going to move to a different spot. Oh. 
I, when I come out to, you know, I, just, I probably won't do any trips next week either. Uh, we got a couple of days that's going to be really, really cold, and the wind has just been banging, banging, just like today. Uh, Temperature-wise, it's a beautiful day out here, but 20 mile an hour winds just make it kind of tough to 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 get you know a see, uh, unseasoned person out here to live scope and do well. You know, I give a guarantee, and uh, I just don't want to bring somebody out here and have to fight these fish the way I'm having to do it. But uh, as soon as this weather clear up, we'll be back out here on them. But like I was saying a while ago, I'll, I'll just you know, come to a spot to hit two or three fish and uh, move on to the next. And, uh, you know, so, you know, that's, that's what I do when I come out here to, uh, you know, just to get me some dinner and, and uh, see what the fish are doing. Look like a good one right there. A little stick up. See if we can get on top of his head. Let's see if we can get on top of his head. So I'm going to work on getting my boat into the wind and have that fish at my target range. And pretty much the ones that's been on these little stick ups have been pretty aggressive. So let's see if we can make him eat. Get my boat facing into this wind. And now you can see my jig coming into play. Ooh, got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Come on in there, bot. This bad boy right here. <laughs> this probably 13 and a half, 14, maybe pushing 14 and a half. That's a really good fish right there, y'all. Nice, nice Lake Houston fish. Yes, sir. Look at it, almost snow white. Almost no color coming out of this muddy water. Almost no color. That's how you got to do it. Uh, I know there's a lot of guys that, that fish this lake that struggle. Uh, but it's all about, you know, moving around. Uh, what I've been seeing here lately is just that you don't want to be where all that bait is. If, if, if you're over in the area, they got a ton of bait. I hadn't been finding, I haven't been finding any, any good crappie in it. And uh, just uh, moving around till I find areas that, you know, like today I had to get out of this wind. So that's that's another factor that that you have to you have to throw in there at, at times is is not fighting the elements. Uh, the elements can make it make it difficult. And you come out here and and uh, already got to fight these hard headed crappie. And, and and then you got wind and, and, and current and everything else. So you gotta you gotta select your areas carefully. And and live scope, you know, a lot of people wanna talk about oh, settings this, settings that, settings this. And it's it's the process that you want. It's the process. Uh, a lot of guys, I, I've had several guys, I even get on some guys' boats that got live scope and uh, come out here and show them the process. Uh, I strongly believe that that uh having your transducer on your troll motor yes it is working a lot of people won't think you can come out here and hit spot lock spot lock's not accurate enough not for me if you want to be target specific you know especially on this lake i mean you you just not gonna find uh, uh not very often an area that got several fish ways you can just drop it out there any kind of way and and, and in any area and uh catch fish uh, so it's, I'm having to get this jig. I'm talking sometimes touching these fish right on their, you know, and I've been calling it poking them in the eye. And, and sometimes that's what I've been having to do. Well, a lot of times that's what I've been having to do. You just can't do that if you got that spot lock on. It's just not going to work. And you're not, man, I, I'm not going to say you're not going to never come out here and catch fish. You will catch some fish. And you can come out here and catch a limit at times. But if you want to be consistently on these fish, you need to transduce on your troll mode. 
simple bottom of the line fact. Uh, it, it just it's, it's, it's what you have to do. It's what I have to do. That's why I'm so su successful out here. And then I pay all of this money for these electronics. I want to see that fish. I want to see him turn up. I want to see him come follow that bait up. I want to see him hit that bait. Uh, and, and you can't do that, not not often, depending on, on spot lock. It's just not going to happen. Anyway, let's get back to fishing. So I see a fish here. I see a few fish right here. But I see one really good one <clears throat> sitting down there on the bottom. I mean, he's on the very bottom. See him bright, that bright dot down there on that very bottom? So we're going to try to target that joker. We're going to try to target him. You see my jig falling down. That's another thing uh, I've been talking a lot about is getting that jig in that cone. Come on there, buddy. Getting that jig in that cone. Uh-oh. Lost him. I think that's him still down there. And I'm trying to keep my bait right above him. Look at that little one. He's hitting my split shot. See him right there? He hit my split shot. I want that bigger fish down there on the bottom. Finally woke him up. Came up a little bit. Come on, buddy. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see my, it's even hard for me to see it, see my jig. But I get a glimpse of it every now and then. He, he's in that, in that, between those little stick ups right there. So it's kind of tough to have to get my bait in there. But it's right there. See it moving up and down, coming back down right now. But I'm, I'm just definitely trying to keep my bait right above him. Come on, wake up. That little one's still hitting my split shot. I don't think... Or hit, no, no, no. I see him right there really good now. Choking up on my rod. See if I can make him eat. Man. He's a tough one. I don't think he's going to do it, y'all. All right, on to the next. What is that over there? Something awfully bright sitting on the bottom. Is that a crappie? Is that a fish? Eh, I don't think that's a crappie. Definitely look like a fish, though. That may be a crappie. We're going to find out. Really bright, whatever it is. Whatever it is, is moving, swimming. Probably gonna turn out to be a big old catfish or a catfish. I almost can barely see him now. We're sticking to that bottom. There may be a turtle down <laughs> there. A turtle? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if, if that's a three pound hugging at bottom like that? All right, on to the next. Let's go find some fish. Maybe a fish right there, tucked in there. I'm gonna go, go down here and then turn around and come back into the wind. Find another little pocket out of the wind, so, somewhat out of the wind. It smell like fish back here. Smell like crappy. I 
one right there sitting on the bottom look like see him right there that's crappy right there y'all that's definitely a crappy now I'm fishing out the back of my boat see if I can get him I think he's gonna be a. I think I can classify that a caught fish. He let me spin my boat all the way around, and he's still holding, and he's facing me. Let me get him stopped. All right, here we go, right in his face. Stood up at it, standing on his tail. I don't think he's gonna hit it. See how slow he, he's just barely coming. Oh, he hit it! He hit it, y'all. <laughs> he hit it good. He's ta taking off. When the wind is high as it is on this day, it does limit you on where you can where you can fish. But like I say all the time. You can just about stop on any area of any lake, and if you spend time there, you will find crappie. Crappie are usually all over these lakes that we fish. You just have to spend time to find where they are. Oh, yeah. That bee's a crappie right there, y'all. Dug up under it. Nice and oh yeah, making it happen, y'all. Let's get it. Putting that work in, y'all. This is what it's about. Coming out here, scanning, looking for them on the hunt. On the hunt. I'd appreciate it if you'd give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. More coming soon. Thanks for watching.